We seem to have a problem with our main engine. It was the first sign all was not well. The faces of the team said it all. Israel's dream of landing on the moon dissolving into bitter disappointment. We had a failure in the spacecraft. We unfortunately have not managed to land successfully. We are the seventh country to orbit the moon and the fourth to reach the moon's surface. And uh, it's a tremendous achievement up to now. Well, we didn't make it, but we definitely tried. A spacecraft selfie taken minutes earlier promised so much, but an engine fault caused it to crash, scattering into thousands of pieces. The mission had hoped to inspire people from across Israel. Its leader said it still could. If at first you don't succeed, you try again. Animations released before the mission chart its unusual path. Instead of rocketing straight up, Bereshit first looped the Earth before tipping into the moon's orbit. An engine was meant to slow its descent, but it unexpectedly turned off. By the time it refired, it was too late. This has been the most nail-biting, perilous landing on the moon there's ever been. Because this does have much fuel on the spacecraft, it can't slow itself down gradually. So what it did was, it actually headed on a crash course to the Sea of Serenity. Three, two, one, ignition. It was set to make history as the first privately funded mission to the moon. It would have made Israel only the fourth country to land on the lunar surface. And at less than 80 million pounds, it promised a future of affordable spaceflight. You know, this is just the start of, of private space missions because there are big companies like SpaceX who will want to continue um, launching, uh, providing launch opportunities, and, you know, that's what they're set up to do. Successful landings on celestial bodies are by no means guaranteed. Israel will still be proud of this mission and will no doubt push to try again. Helen Ann Smith, Sky News. Huh?